Okay guys, first off, I'm sorry about yesterday's video. I honestly didn't even realize how bad the audio quality was. All the videos on YouTube, and obviously when the video's on YouTube, I'll still like kind of not, not like fully watch it, but like, you know, like skim through the video, really make sure is this what I want on YouTube. And I've already said this a bunch of times already about what I normally do. This right here is by far the worst map in Cold War, dude. No, I'm, I'm not playing this fucking, no, no, fuck. Fuck that map. Blows my mind away, dude, that this game literally gave us, and I mean, like, wrapped in a nice little present of this thing called map voting. Little nine-year-olds and, like, those brain-dead people who actually vote for that fucking stupid boat map, dude. It's by far the worst map in the whole game. Even Miami's better, dude. Like, every single map that is in this game, dude, you could pick over that fucking boat map. What is it? Armanda Strike or some shit like that? Even Garrison's better, dude. Like, fuck. I, I got up maybe about, like, 10 levels last night. I was playing a, quite a bit with Devin last night, and I went up from, like, what, like, 36 to 45 or, or something like that. Actually, I mean, I hope I can prestige soon, dude. Just because, honestly, the prestige just looks really cool in this game, dude. I have not been able to prestige in fucking forever, and it's it feels so nice to even, even just have that thought in the back of my mind that I can keep, you know, actually, you know, keeping my XP that I earned. I only have a few more challenges until I can get this uh, Pellington Gold. That also includes ma uh, making it max level, so I really don't know how I, like, I've seen, like, Jeb. I just know Jeb just plays all the time. But people that I have been personally playing with myself who are not fucking YouTubers who actually have, like, you know, like, 9 to 5 job, right? And they already have, like the fucking Pellington and Tundra gold already, dude, and it's just, like, fucking baffles me. Fucking double XP in this game, like, double XP tokens that I just have not figured out yet, because if so, I, I would love to have them right now. Just slowly chipping away at this Pellington, dude, and really not going fucking anywhere. Hey, Yesterday after, you know, I, I made the video, all that sort of stuff, and, you know, just playing Cold War, right? Just just having a good time. I decided to go look at my classes and the camos and all that sort of stuff and just really comprehend, you know, the diamond camo grind. And I, then I fucking realized that... Hold on. Uh, I thought I was actually going to do something there, but then I realized I'm, I'm straight fucking dog shit. Yeah, I realized that there's only three snipers and they really don't have that many challenges. But again, I have not unlocked all of the possible challenges. Like, I haven't hit level 50 yet for this um, gun yet. And honestly... I hope I hit it soon because I really want this fucking gun at least gold, man. I'm saying I'm just gonna completely, you know, go hard, you know, just go straight fucking camel grind again. It's not for a while. Diamond snipers actually seems pretty fucking good. It's, it, it seems kind of tasty, not gonna lie. I haven't had diamond snipers, guys, since like Black Ops 2. That's like the last time I actually played a Black Ops game. Well, besides Black Ops 3 when that came out like four or five years ago or something like that. I don't care what anybody fucking says. Black Ops 2, one of the best Call of Duty's of all time. And this might be a very unpopular opinion and way too soon to say, but honestly, I like this game a lot more than Black Ops 2 right now. Dude, what is it with the fucking hit markers, like, from Point Blank? When me and him can swap, spit, and tickle each other's feet, dude, I should be able to kill you with this fucking bullet. No problem going for the Diamond Snipers, dude, it's just shit like that with the hit markers that just fucking baffles me, man. AK in this game is actually really good. Like, in Modern Warfare, that AK was absolutely dog shit. So I kind of want to go for a camo is, and I'm saying, like, in the near future, at the fucking moment where I just want to grind my ass off, even though I'm just grinding out levels right now because I just want to at least be a prestige one, dude. I don't really want to sit here and... Dude, I am fucking shit, man. You can be getting mad at this video <laughs> the parts i looked at so like i obviously got so fucking mad playing yesterday considering how bad my mic was right my mic was turned up half like almost halfway because i have like a little volume knob on my mic that i can like you can turn up and down based on what i'm doing whether it's like making a video or something like that and well um very sensitive so when i got fucking mad like it just it got so distorted normally it doesn't do that and the funny thing is i think i realized that in the process of like i realized that you know not really much so in the process of editing but more so after editing because once i finish editing a video it's like on my computer watch it over just really make sure like this is how i, I want the video to be it's fucking contested i'm just gonna sit right fucking here You know, of course, my mic was just so bad, dude, and I, I don't know what it is. Normally, it's not like that. Like, right now, it should be fine, because I have it on the actual setting it's supposed to be at. When I'm making a video, I should have no fucking issues, but, you know, I, I mess up a lot of things, and that could very well be one of them. 
And I, I really hope it's not, man. I want this video to actually sound good this time, man. I'll go back, dude, and actually, like, say, for instance, like, something's wrong like, with... This might sound really dumb. But, like, if something's wrong with, like, my hat or something like that, I will actually go back and, like, re-record that part. That might seem, like, really weird, considering, like, I have such, like, a low community or fan base, however you want to say it on YouTube. My dad always taught me, if you're going to do it, you might as well just do the fucking shit right. Otherwise, just don't do it at all. I'm so fucking dog shit. I hate how much, like, my screen will just, like, fucking go complete fucking porn star vibrator on me, dude, when a napalm strike comes in. Like, I could be about to hit the nastiest fucking shot of my lifetime, and then boom, napalm strike, and I just get fucking just clapped like a triple-A porn star, dude. It's fucking bullshit. Uh, it's like, what, like, my fifth day or some shit like that, consecutive playing this game, dude, and honestly... Still like it, still playing this game, and I don't know why you repeat me, dude, even though you knew I was holding a fucking angle, dude. The IQ is fucking low. Hoping I'll hit prestige, like, sometime in the next couple days, but again, guys, I, I play a lot. Like, I play every single day, but I still have to do school like, right now. It's how it was, like, when I was doing Modern Warfare, guys. I I'm literally making these videos between my glasses and, like, doing schoolwork. I actually have, like, my, like, I, I think this is what, like... English or science? Science. It's science. Between each games or something like that, I'll just like go through and answer like a question or something like that. So at least I'm being somewhat productive and still having fun at the same time. Be fucking real here. School's absolutely fucking boring. I know right now, guys, fucking sweet tea is so beautiful, man. It's sweet tea is so delicious. Like, I prefer to drink sweet tea over soda for some reason. These maps in this game are Amanda Strike and Goddamn Checkmate. Like, both these maps are fucking shit. You can't tell me otherwise. Fucking listen, I, I like Trek. I love this game, guys. But hear me out. They stole this plane and a bunch of other shit from Rainbow Six Siege. You can't tell me otherwise. Plane's smaller, but it has, like, kind of, like, the same dynamics as, like, the plane from Rainbow Six Siege. It looks like the plane from Rainbow Six Siege in, in some way. I'm just saying that just because, you know, it, it's literally a fucking goddamn plane. My camera might seem like it's more close to my face than it is. That is because my monitor actually is pulled up closer to me right now. Just because, like, my monitors, like, they're, they're decent sized monitors, but, like, when I'm playing, like, Call of Duty or, like, Rust, especially Siege, to be as close as possible on, to my monitor without, like, completely rotting my brain out, considering I already spend, like, some hours playing fucking Call of Duty or something like that every single day. But my webcam seems like it's a lot closer than it actually is. So in yesterday's video, I actually said that, like, there is no aim assist on this game, which, honestly, I, I, I still stand by that. Even though last night I was playing and it felt like I was having aim assist. Now it feels like I don't have anything. Like last night it was actually how it's supposed to fucking be. Like it actually feels fucking amazing. Dude, how do you not goddamn die from that, man? People ask me, like, why don't I just play mouse and keyboard even though I'm on PC? Why do I play the controller? It's just because I enjoy playing with the controller for some reason. In Call of Duty, I just played on a controller. I played on an Xbox 360. So like, I this is like, it's common for me. God, this map is so fucking dog shit. That game, because listen, I, I don't like Checkmate or Armand Strike. I just want to play a game where I can snipe, have a good time, gain XP. Those maps, you cannot. It's fucking bullshit. I'm just going to go ahead and play one more because I actually have to go back and just actually do some school right now. So if you guys are new here, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And my name's Glassface or Sam, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.